Man has always been drawn to Earth's rivers, but none more than South African Steve Fisher. This is the story of his journey and the characters he's met along the way. So I'd already been working on the Zambezi River for a few years and I was safety kayaking and video boating and raft guiding and I had this big idea to start up a video production company. Well, it was open for exactly one day of business and in true fashion that night I ended up falling off the back of a pickup truck on the way back from the pub and breaking my collarbone. Um, at first I didn't think that was too big a deal and then I had to go for surgery and uh, a couple of days later I get this call from Scott Lindgren. It's November 2001. Scott Lindgren has been planning an expedition on the Yarlung Sang Po for the last three years. He's already chosen his team of six paddlers. It's only because he needed a seventh paddler, an odd number in case of a vote, that Steve Fisher was invited to join the expedition. Lindgren made the call. Well, I just recently watched uh, the National Geographic broadcast of a previous failed attempt on the Yarlung Sang Po, so I had an idea of uh, what we were getting into, but uh, I went ahead and said, yeah, I'm ready, let's go. I'd only been out of surgery for a week, uh, he didn't know that, so I just started going to the gym and trying to get back in shape. And I took my flight to the US and it was only once I arrived there that I started to realize the full magnitude of what we were about to get into. And that this was going to be one of the biggest events in my life until that point. We'd been together on the river for almost six weeks and it was uh, one of the last nights and we were just camped out around our fire next to the river there. And uh, Dave Allardyce from New Zealand busts out this quote by Sterling Hayden. And it starts out by saying, to be truly challenging this life that we live should be based on a firm foundation of financial unrest. And then goes on to say how people fling their lives beneath the wheels of routine in the pursuit of security and then asks the question of choice. What will it be? Bankruptcy of pocket or bankruptcy of soul? And at that moment as I heard that quote and after the experience I just had on the Sang Po, I all of a sudden knew exactly what it was that I was going to be doing with kayaking. Entangled beyond all my control Why? 